Ladies and gentlemen, I'm using this under the Fair Use Act. You're going to find this absolutely incredible. And it's going to go further to prove everything that I have said about these people, especially this one here. Jonathan the con artist, the filthy lucre, the fraudulent thief that has violated Jeremiah 23 verse 30 and stolen prophetic words from me to enrich himself. So this is just today. I want to show you a quick snippet. So what he's doing here, he's preparing his audience. Perry Stone does the same thing. When a lawsuit's coming at him or he's getting exposed, about he knows he's about to be exposed, he's preparing his audience. But pay close attention to exactly what he says here because I'm going to show you he's actually twisting and manipulating what the scripture actually says. Very craftily, might I add. Because we hate our enemy. That's why they're our enemy and we're the enemy. But when you do that, you're actually joining, you're becoming like your enemy. It makes no sense. But he says, the way you break it, love your enemy. Somebody takes your coat, give them another one. That person hates you, give them a gift. Love I want to point that out. He's, he's saying this is the enemy. And I want you to catch that very important part. He's saying this is the enemy that's doing this and what you should do to the enemy. Somebody takes your coat, give them another one. So he doesn't give his audience, his congregation, the scripture that he's pulling from. He doesn't tell them where he's pulling this from, but I'm going to show you where it comes from. Matthew 5, verse 40. If and if any man will sue thee <laughs> at the law, and all of you who follow me know I'm suing him in accordance with the law, and it says, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. So go back and listen to that again. Because we hate our enemy. That's why they're our enemy, and we're the enemy. But when you do that, you're actually joining, you're becoming like your enemy. It makes no sense. But he says, the way you break it, love your enemy. Somebody takes your coat, give them another one. <laughs> so, <laughs> realize what he's doing here, ladies and gentlemen. He's trying to paint me as the enemy. He's twisting this scripture and trying to paint me as the enemy. Matthew chapter 5, verse 40. But that is not what the scripture says. It says, and if any man sue thee, at the law and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. Because it goes in alignment also with this. Psalm 6 verse 31. If a thief, what this is referring to, but if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold, he shall give all the substance of his house. So what he's done here, <clears throat> this is the whole thing. This is where he's pulling from. Let him. So, chapter 5, Matthew chapter 5, is an entire list of things that Jesus was teaching to do and not to do. And again, each verse is a different lesson. Different lessons. This one's about borrowing. This one's about somebody asking you to go the mile, go the distance. This is about suing, being sued. If somebody sues you, you're in the wrong, is what Jesus is trying to teach here. If somebody sues you and takes your cloak coat, maybe you should give him your cloak too because you're in the wrong. That's how that works. But let me show you what he did here. He goes, he jumps from 40 all the way down to chapter uh, to four verses later. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you. So what he's trying to do, he's trying to take this and mingle it there. Trying to take this and mingle it with this lesson. Trying to paint me in a bad light. Note that. When he is, in fact, in the wrong. <laughs> and believe me, his lawyer is going to get this just as soon as I post it. And everybody that knows him is going to get tagged in this video <laughs> that I'm going to upload. Because this is pure evil. This is what's warned of in the Bible. It says, do not rest the word. This is what he's done. He's tried to take one verse out of context. 
he took Matthew 540 and instead of taking that and showing its its significance to other scripture he took and jumped he might as well have taken this verse and jumped it all the way down here and put it as verse 45 <laughs> that's what he did and that's what his followers can't see through because what he's doing is just he's baiting them up he's preparing them when they find out about the suit He's going to see the enemy is after me. <laughs> the enemy is after my ministry, just like Perry Stone does. The enemy is, is just trying to destroy my reputation in my ministry and take all of my almighty dollars. <laughs> I mean, this is sick. At the same time, it's very sick because these men do not and will not and refuse to be held accountable for violating the very word of God. They cannot stand it. They will sit up in front of their followers and lie until their teeth fall out and they choke on their own tongues. That's how evil and wicked they are, ladies and gentlemen. He's nothing but a liar, nothing but a fraud, nothing but a con artist, nothing but an evil, wicked, filthy lucre, according to Titus chapter 1, verse 11. Y'all be sure to let his followers know that's exactly what he did. He took 40, and we're going to move that down here under 44, but we're going to connect it with that verse when there is no connection whatsoever between these two verses, just like there's no connection between this one and this one or this one and this one. He's a liar and a fraud and a con artist. God bless.